There are times when you might want to know if someone has tried to log into your computer for security reasons. Windows 10 provides this functionality, but you have to enable it first. If you're running Windows 10 Pro, Enterprise, or Education, you can accomplish this with a group policy change, but in Windows 10 Home, you have to use the registry. In either case, this video will cover both of those scenarios. Now, what do we mean by last login information? Let's have a look at the screen here. If I log into my account, it's gonna come up with a blue screen. It will give me a couple of pieces of information. First thing is, the last time I successfully logged in, so I'll know if somebody has guessed my password, if it wasn't a time that I actually did log in, and will also tell me the last unsuccessful login and how many attempts were tried. So I know if somebody's trying to get into my computer with my account. So it gives you a little bit of oversight when you first log in. This is the only indication you get is this blue screen that pops up here. Now you can delve into the event logs afterwards to get additional information, but that's a little bit more involved and not really gonna cover it in this video. So how do we do make this change using group policy? First thing we have to do is click on start and just simply type gpedit.msc. Okay, once we see the local group policy editor on the screen, what you have to do is in the top under computer configuration, expand administrative templates, Windows components, scroll down this list until you see Windows logon options. When you click on this, on the right hand side here, you'll see there's this option that says display information about previous logons during user login. When you double click on this to open it up, you have the options of not configured, enabled, and disabled. In my case, as we've already seen, this option is enabled. Or if afterwards you wanna turn it off, such as I do right now, you can just go disabled. And that'll disable that particular option. Or alternatively, you can just say not configured. Okay, let's close down the group policy. Now, if you're running Windows 10 Home Edition, you have to edit the registry. So click on Start and type reg edit. This opens up the registry editor. Now, the location that you want in here is HKey Local Machine Software Microsoft Windows Current Version Policies and under policies, we are looking for system. Once you've got system up on the screen here, right click on a blank spot and go new, new D word value. And in here, what we wanna type is display last logon info. Hit enter, change this value to a one and that's the registry change that you need to do. Now with registry edits, you generally need to reboot your computer, or if you know the shortcuts, you can right click on your start, bring up a command prompt, and it can go GP update slash force, which actually forces an update of your group policy. This is applicable to all computers and servers. I often use this when I make a change on a server without having to reboot the server and knock everybody off. So just a quick shortcut for you. Now what we'll have a look at is if we log off, you should see that log on screen again. And there we go. The login screen is there. Even if you remember, I did disable the option in group policy, but I did enable it in the registry. So the registry you can use for any operating system, but group policy is not available in Windows 10 Home Edition, which is why you have to use the registry. So that hopefully will give you an idea of how to figure out who last logged onto your computer, or if your kids at home are trying to access your account. But of course, make sure whatever you do that you actually do have a password on your account, even if you're the only one using it, for security reasons, because if somebody does hack into your computer, it'll be so easy to get all of your saved information in your web browsers. Hopefully that provided a bit of insight into login information for you. If it did, by all means, do give us a thumbs up. Take care. Have yourselves a fantastic day. Bye now.